the government to maintain a resilient supply chain within the Indo-Pacific region. India endorses the concept of working towards ensuring a transparent, trustworthy, dependable and reliable supply chain. The Supply Chain Resilience Initiative launched in September 2020 by Japan, Australia and India is a firm step towards building resilient supply chains. We hope to be able to invite other countries to join us in this very important initiative. As far as India is concerned, our trade with select Indo-Pacific economies increased eight times during the last 19 years. Safe Express launches its 60-second ultra-modern logistics park in Navi, Mumbai. Mahindra Logistics discusses its evolved strategies. Pandemic has changed the paradigm in, in some measure, if not in great measure. Uh, for us as a company, I think we really try to we try to focus on three, four things. First one is uh, you know, we stress tested all our supply chains. All of the supply chains operations we have obviously are for uh, for for our customers, and we did a lot of work on actually you know, stress testing all our supply chains. Uh, you know, doing multiple scenarios with our customers. The second thing which we really try to do is drive a lot more integration across service line. The third one has been investing in, in technology really to enable the first two, right? Uh, which I think has been really critical. And the last one was, it has really been a huge investment on the human element. You know, at some stage, no matter how much you invest in technology, all your models go out of the window. Right? And the hand of the steering wheel actually becomes really important. The global leading logistics service provider, DB Schenker, announces the expansion of its digitally forward innovation, Connect 4.0.